नमस्ते वेलकम अगेन टू अवर चैनल क्यूबिड एजुकेशनल सर्विसेस वी आर सॉल्विंग द एसरप्टेटिव टेस्ट 2020 फिजिक्स एम सी क्यूज एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व क्वेश्चन नंबर 13 व्हिच इज बेस्ड ऑन जोमेट्रिकल ऑप्टिक्स और रे ऑप्टिक्स एंड स्पेसिफिकली इट इज बेस्ड ऑन स्नेल्स लॉ सो लेट्स रीड द स्टेटमेंट सिंपल वॉट इज द मैक्सिमम एंगल ऑफ इंसिडेंस थीटा आई इन द फिगर सो दिस इज थीटा आई for which the ray would satisfy the condition for the total internal reflection at the boundary of the media of refractive indices n1 and n2 where n1 is greater than n2 that is obvious because total internal reflection is possible only when the ray is traveling from a denser medium to a rarer medium correct now there are actually a uh, three media here okay there are three media the air the refract the medium with the refractive index n1 and the medium with refractive index n2 so let us first apply snell's law okay let us first apply the snell's law at air n1 interface okay let us apply the snell's law at the air n1 interface so what is the refractive index of air okay it is approximately 1 so we now have this 1 into sin of theta i okay 1 into sin of theta i is equal to n1 into sin of theta r okay we, gen we generally remember it as n1 sin theta is equal to n2 sin theta r but here remember uh, n1 in the problems context is actually 1 because that is air and the second medium is uh, well we haven't named it but its refractive index is 1 okay so uh, we have sin of theta i is equal to n1 sin of theta r remember we want to find the maximum angle of incidence theta i and that theta i is here so we would now proceed with the angle theta r let us now apply the snell's law at let us now apply the snell's law at n1 n2 interface n1 n2 interface now observe that when the ray of light is incident at this interface okay it is when it is incident at this interface what is the angle of incidence this is angle of incidence and it is a complement of theta r correct right so uh, n1 into sin of pi by 2 minus theta r where theta r is the angle of refraction Uh, at the air n1 interface okay so this is theta r so this will be 90 minus theta r or pi by 2 minus theta let me put it put a dot here so that you will understand it the red dot equal to n2 into now we want total internal reflection okay uh, condition for the total internal reflection so what does that mean that means this is a sign 90 for a total internal reflection okay total internal reflection is tir total internal reflection therefore now use trigonometry use trigonometry sin of pi by 2 minus theta r is cos of theta r uh sin pi by 2 1 so what will be cos theta r cos theta r will be n2 by n1 so what will be sin theta r because in the first equation if you remember when we applied the snell's law for the first time it is n1 sin theta r so we somehow need to find sin theta r from this expression for cos theta r and that is not very difficult it is going to be root of 1 minus cos squared theta r standard formula root of 1 minus n2 squared upon n1 squared so let's now put this sin theta r Oh, sorry. Let me use a different color. Let me use pink. Let's let's put this sine theta r here. So, what will be sine theta i now? Therefore, sine of theta i is equal. To, we have got this n one already. Into sine theta r. Let's take the LCM. So that will be n one squared minus n two squared upon n two squared under the root. So when it comes out, it will become n one. and uh, n1 n1 will get cancelled so sin of theta i or rather theta i will be sin inverse of root of 
n1 squared minus n2 squared do we have that option there is only one option or there are two options having root and it is option c correct it is option c so uh, question 13 option c in the next video we will be going or we will be solving the second last uh, mcq that is 14th